What's going on guys? Dane here and welcome back finally to Awaken Chaos Era, bro. Can you hear the excitement in my voice? I cannot believe they just randomly sneak dropped this on us, bro. Uh, it is available currently in a uh, soft launch. Um, so, you know, if you want in on this, if you are in certain areas, you can just download it off the store. Uh, they do have it available in their Discord as well. Um, I don't know if I'm allowed to tell you guys that. I don't care. You gotta know because I need you in on here. I need you in my guild, all that. But right now, we're gonna start out with our pity summons, bro. And we're gonna talk about if you are new to this game, if you don't know what this game is, or if you're curious about it whatsoever, why I'm so freaking stoked to be able to get my hand back on it. So I don't know what I just called it. The pity summon, the whatever it is, the rookie summon is what it really is, man. We got five summon chances to get something nutty. Let's see what our chances are right now, bro. Now, there's a lot of things. The game ain't the same at this point in time, man. The game ain't the same. There's a lot of updated stuff. I don't know how loud this is right here. I hope it's not too freaking loud. What is this? Who is this? This is a character I never had. And we got a couple of, you know, a couple of regular, just, you know, rare units. But who's this? Uh, can we can we get a look at him? What in the world is going on with you, bro? What is going on with you? So, yeah, if you don't know what this game is, this is the best gotcha game that I have played in my entire life. Um, I was super stoked to play it for the beta. I uh, left my final thoughts on it, and I said, you know what? All it needs is a little bit more content. And honestly, what they did... Um, they did so and with flying colors just oh my god I've been I've been enjoying what I've been seeing uh, both in the patch notes and my own play I do believe they upped the graphic fidelity dramatically at least the colors and the textures Everything looks so much more polished just visually that it's actually unbelievable because this was already one of the best looking games I'd ever seen we got an Uzrog and a board and we're not taking this one no way in hell. No way. No, no, no. We're going for a legendary, bro. We need a legendary pull. Come on, give me something crazy. We don't do rerolls around here, bro. Give me something nutty. Um, so this game, if you are unaware, is oh my god, is she new? Who is this? What in the world does she do? Reduce all ability cooldowns by one. So this, I mean, this is just it's a gotcha RPG of the highest quality. It's something in the vein of like raid or a summoner's war or something like that. Um, you know, just, uh, Epic 7, something along those lines of just, like, but it's just the quality, man, the freaking quality, and how good it is, the amount of crazy teams you can build is unrealistic, this sounds like a jumper, I swear to god, no sponsorship, health into, to, oh, okay, converts 30% of this character's health into 150% damage to all enemies, grants a bonus turn upon the defeat of an enemy, sounds pretty freaking disgusting, honestly, though, uh, I don't know, Recovers health. She's kind of like a... I don't know if I vibe with her, man. 50% defense down is nice and all. What exactly does her passive do? Reduces all ability cooldowns by one turn upon death of an enemy. I don't know, bro. I don't know. She, uh... She sounds... She sounds alright. She sounds alright. We'll, we'll have to see what her damage is looking like. She might be the pole. I really like the water dude we just pulled, though. That water dude is looking like the way to go right now. We'll see what's up, man. We'll see what's up. I don't know how rambly I sound. I am so stoked, bro. I just got to these summons. I was like, turn the recording on and start talking. Okay, I don't know who this is. She's new. She's absolutely new. I don't know who this is. What's she look like? So much fun. She is gorgeous. Oh my goodness. What in the world? We ain't worried about this poll, though. This ain't what's happening. We need a legendary, man. We need a legendary. Give me a legendary of this last poll. Give me something crazy. Hydrissia? Question mark? I'm just <laughs> There's no way they didn't nerf Hydrissia. You feel me? There's no way. But either way, um... Oh my god. Is she still just as nutty? There's no way this is a guarantee, right? This isn't just like every time you have a chance. 50% chance to grant a bonus attack, 50% damage to all enemies. Um, 80% damage to an enemy, 50% chance for a speed down. 80% damage to all enemies, apply speed down. 80% damage to all enemies, then throw spears with so splash damage, 25% damage to all enemies. Always a chance to grant a bonus attack. I don't know, man. Is this the way to go? It's not an AoE, is it? To all enemies? Oh my god, she's still pretty freaking solid, bro. Well, guys, we got Hydrissia, it looks like. Um, I don't really see a way around it. Um, yeah, the pole itself isn't all that nice. Um, you know, a couple of rares, nothing crazy. There's no way, though, right? Like, when you have the option, the heck, tap the five icons above to make a selection. What do you mean? There's no way, right? Tap the five icons above to make a selection. What are you talking about? Tap the five icons... Oh, okay, okay. I thought it was about to pick five of these characters. I was like, why did they just break the game? What exactly do you do? Before I make a rash decision, uh, I don't know, man. You know what? If this isn't the nuttiest skill we've ever seen, it isn't the nuttiest skill we've ever seen. We got a Hydrissia in the house, bro. What in the world? Five from, yes, we're taking it, man. 
this girl was big busted in the uh the beta as far as just early farming she's the farming queen she will skyrocket your account in a way that just no one else will i don't know if she's still as broken as she was but honestly she could be man she could be what a wild beginning to the game so all that jumper aside all that craziness aside uh let me tell you a little bit about what this game is while we upgrade this character because honestly like i just oh my god bro oh my god we gotta upgrade this girl but what you're looking at is we already talked about it it's a gotcha rpg um the reason it's so exciting is the depth of the game itself every character does so much and almost every character is viable which we saw in the character spotlight series um which did amazing by the way this was the first game that i dropped that really exploded you know what i mean out to world did pretty good um we had a couple of before that were doing all right as far as like the percentage we gained but like you guys went crazy over chaos era and i'm so freaking glad because i was loving it man and i mean we're back in full force hydrosia she about to get maxed out right now <clears throat> what are you talking about man what are you talking about of course she's getting maxed out uh i haven't wailed at all i wailed in the beta there was a closed beta i wailed in it and i got some uh, you know some rewards for the money that i spent so it is what it is i use those to buy a couple of packages you feel me uh, so we got some level up material and she's up to level 45 out of nowhere beautiful freaking stuff uh, oh my god oh my god hold on Hold on, you. Give me everything you got. Give me all that you got. You, go over here. What the heck are you talking about? Go ahead and, uh, I wish there was just an equip all button. There has to be, right? Manage gear. Is there, like, an auto-equip button now? They didn't add an auto-equip button? What is wrong with them, bro? What, why is there no auto -equip? Okay, you know what? Fine. We're doing it the hard way, bro. We're doing it my way or the highway. All of this goes in right here. Okay, okay. We got to speed up on that one. We got defense up. It's irrelevant. You know what? Actually, we got to change that one out. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You're going to a crit damage. There we go right there. There we go. Okay. Well, we got a Hydrissia. That's interesting. I don't know if that's a guaranteed chance. Someone let me know if that is a guaranteed chance. But what do you say we show off a little bit about how the game plays? I just, I'm honestly just making this video to say I'm back. You know what I mean? I'm just here to say like, yo, like the series is back in full force. Um, no, Seven Nights isn't going anywhere. I promise you. Seven Nights 2, not going anywhere. I got another game dropping right now that I actually have access to that I can't wait to drop. I'm going to drop that video as soon as I am able to. Uh, so, you know, uh, look forward to that. Th there's going to be a variety on the channel, guys. Um, back to variety. That is the root of my channel. I've always been a variety channel. Uh, nothing's changing in that regard. I just haven't had anything else to post but Seven Nights because nothing else is really hitting that itch. You feel me? This game right here, we're tryharding in. If you guys like Seven Nights, I promise you, I promise you, get in on this one right here. You are going to just lose your mind with the quality that you're looking at right here, man. Um, so this bias, you know, it is what it is. We're in a gear dungeon right now. We're, we're doing our thing. He's gonna just blow us out of the water. We're gonna heal over time. Here comes Hydrissia. Show me your beastly ways. Her ultimate. She finally has an ultimate animation. And it doesn't do all that much damage. She's a farmer. She's gonna get you through the waves and stuff like that. Man, this is loud as hell. I hope the actual game volume isn't, like, way louder than I am. Because I didn't think it was gonna be as loud as it is. I feel like I need to turn the effects down way farther, but we'll find out in post-production, you know what I mean? Maybe this will be a completely mute section, I'll talk over it. Uh, if you are hearing this right now, I did not talk over it. Come on, get out of here, get out of here, easy peasy. So, she's not actually a boss killer. Uh, she, she does so much AoE damage that just, like, she'll clear waves for you quickly and easily. She's also insane in PvP, which we're gonna be doing our bite-sized PvP series in this game without a doubt. It was a blast to bring to you guys. Oh my god, dude, I could cry. I feel like I'm coming home, you know what I mean? I feel like I'm coming home to this one, man. It just, it fits like a glove, man. So, I mean, content for days if you're looking for something like that. Uh, every character is beautifully designed. Every enemy, even these bosses you're seeing right here, beautiful stuff. I mean, just like... The gameplay itself, very deep. Every single dungeon has its own flow to it and its own requirements for how to actually handle it. You know, different strategies work in different areas, uh, different elements and stuff like that for the different gear. Uh, Endless Trial, just a crazy, epic, uh, you know, labyrinth mode. Simple as that. You got the Arcane Dominator. I don't exactly remember what Arcane Dominator is, sincerely, but, you know, we got Void Tower as well. It might be... Hold on, No Man's Land is probably for the uh, the actual uh, level of materials for your... Yeah, this isn't Gear Dungeon, actually. This is for your, uh, your Ascension materials right here, man. You go ahead and throw it on in and get their abilities upgraded. Simple as that. Now, Arcane Dominator is your gear dungeon so these aren't even the gear bosses these are just the off bosses that you're gonna be seeing when you're trying to level up your skills we got gear to unlock soon we got void tower over here it is the best tower mode that's ever been put in a freaking game 
Uh, just every floor is a crazy challenge. There's two different towers. They reset regularly and they are blast for how well crafted and just purposely crafted every single room is within them. And Bounty Hunt, I mean, it's just a great place to just, so while you're leveling up, get, it's kind of like the more generic, just like tower mode. Think Celestial Tower if you're playing Seven Nights 2 or man. PvP in the game, absolutely beautiful. Um, there's guilds in the game if you would like. If you want in, we got Lucid Fate. Now, I know it says we got 30. Uh, anybody goes inactive, I'll kick them out. If you if you message me and you're like, yo, I want in. I know you. All that. Uh, you're in. Simple as that. And someone who does not, anyone who doesn't know me and is not in the train, is not worried about, you know, the community itself. Uh, they're gone, though, bro. So it is what it is. You got uh, guild bosses. You got guild wars coming soon, just like we got in Seven Nights. Man, I got it. Oh, man. Two juggernauts back to back. What is going on, bro? I just, oh. Bro, we, we are in a golden age for the releases that are coming out, man. And this is, they're not mutually exclusive. If you like one, you'll like the other, including the next game, including another one that's coming. I mean, the variety is about to be mixing in and out. None of them are going to be forgotten about. None of them are going to hit the back burner until we get tired of them. But you already know if that quality is there, we ain't getting tired of them. If you are curious about everything going on in this game, the first impression absolutely still holds up, man. Uh, but other than that, I mean, the series is coming. We got our first video dropping tomorrow on it. Our first official video. This right here, this this is light work. You know what I mean? I just want to show off my beginning summons, which one I picked and all that. But, and, and bring up the, the fact that it's here. You know what I mean? The game is here. We're going to be playing it. We're going to be having a blast with it. Um, there's no way around it. No way, no two ways about it. You feel me? It just is what it is. Let's show this off a little bit while we get out of here, man. I mean, we're just going to destroy it. So you're not really going to get a chance to really see it. But it is what it is. Make sure you pick your skills, by the way. Um, my favorite build for skills, I really, what was I running before? I was running the stun and the, what was the defense up? What was I running? Was it stun and cooldown? I don't, I don't, God, I don't remember my skill set from before, but we're over here in this skill dungeon. This dude is beautiful, but he's about to get one shot by the next thing that hits him. It is what it is. Poor guy. Um, what's he doing? What's he doing? Look at all the skills these bosses have, by the way. Look at this lineup. You see that? That is, le that's legitimate. That's everything that they can do, and it is a lot. A billion different buffs and debuffs. Different tiers of buffs and debuffs. Like, there's, like, defense up, defense up two, and stuff like that. Um, God, that was just... God, I can't... I can't wait. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys are looking forward to the series. It is coming back in full force. If you are looking forward to it, go ahead and click that like button, man. But you know me, only if you really liked it. And if you vibe with me, you want to see more on this, you want to see more on that, you want to see more on what the heck ever we got going on over here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button, man. I got you covered on two videos a day on the best gems on the mobile marketplace, hands down. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.